Hi friends, today we're going to be making some Chinese good fortune mirrors. While looking at these mirrors, you will notice there's some symbols and objects. And these symbols and objects are supposed to bring about good fortune and good luck to the person who receives them as a gift. You will be making your own mirror today and in providing your own symbols that you will draw that will represent what your wishes and hopes are for the future. All right, friends, so for our Chinese good fortune mirrors, the first thing you're gonna do is find anything that you can draw on a piece of paper. You can even draw on the on part of a paper bag that your parents have at home, cut it up, make a sheet of paper, just something to draw on. You're then gonna find a circle object in your house that you can trace. I'm going to be using a marker but you can use anything. Just use what's around you. Do your best with what you have at home. So you're gonna go around that circle. And then you're gonna look for foil. Okay, just make sure you've asked for permission. And you're gonna find another small circle um, object. Trace it from the foil and then cut it out with a pair of scissors. If you don't have those things, then you're just gonna trace another circle in the middle. This is gonna end up making it look like um, a reflective mirror in the middle. So I'm going to add glue. Notice how I'm thinking of craftsmanship and I'm adding it to the side that I see my outline on. Flipping it over and then I'm going to press it in the middle. So in the Chinese um, good fortune mirrors, there's a lot of patterns going on, but a lot of times those patterns actually have meanings and symbols behind them. So we're going to be doing a mixture of decorative shape patterns, but also going to be doing um, some symbol patterns. And a symbol is just an object that has a meaning behind it. Um, if you're in third grade, we've talked a lot about that this year. The first thing you wanna think about in your Chinese mirror is what you want your good fortune to be. What are you hoping is going to happen in the future? I wanna see my students soon because I feel like this is a long time to go without seeing my students. So in my mirror, I put around the edge may you see your students soon because usually with the Chinese um, mirror it will start out with the words may you and then they'll continue with what they want their fortune to be so think about what you want in the future what is something you really want so you're going to start around the edge and you're going to write may you and if you need an older sibling to write this for you or help from an adult, please add and put your wish. So I'm going to see my students soon. So you're going to repeat that sentence all the way around your circle. Remember friends, your wish will be different from mine, so your sentence should not be exactly the same. Okay, so as you can tell my last sentence, I had to cut it short, that's okay. You just wanna make sure the whole edge is covered. Now we're gonna think of some kind of decorative shape to do around the outside edge of our mirror, inside of our mirror, the reflective part, and on the outside edge that we trace. So I'm just gonna do triangles. Okay friends, so now I'm going to think of a shape to do on the outside edge. It can be the same, it can be different, that's totally up to you. Alright, so now that we have those patterns, I want you to start thinking about that symbol that you're going to use. Since my main word in here, the main thing in my wish is my students and seeing them. I have to think about how I'm going to show that in an object that I'm going to decide to draw. For mine, I just decided to do shapes that looked like small people and students, okay? Sometimes it might be a little easier. If you have something that's easy to draw that makes sense, then just do it. But sometimes it's going to be a little more challenging to come up with a symbol. So for mine, I have my shapes that I'm going to do like this. And I just pretend that those are students. So like, like I said, sometimes you're gonna have to make one up off your head and sometimes there might already be a symbol that exists. Okay, so for example, if you hope to have good weather in the spring, you could do what for weather? This, you could do the sun or something like that. But for me, I had to come up with something that was a little more tricky. So for my students, 
I just drew these three little people. And now what I'm gonna do is that symbol I created, I'm gonna go around those shapes that I just did around this, the um, circle in the middle, and I'm gonna repeat those. So I'm creating a pattern again. Okay, friends, so now we're gonna do one more pattern around the symbols you just made. So your symbols are gonna be different than mine. Please don't copy mine. Come up with your own based on what your good fortune is. So now in between my words and my symbols, I'm gonna do a line pattern. So I need to think of two lines that I want to go in an order. It does not matter which ones you choose, you're just gonna come up with one. So I'm gonna do wavy and straight. All right, friends, so it's pretty full now at this point. What we're going to do is color it using any materials you have at home. I'm just going to use crayons, and I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to start by using the tip of my crayons to get the details inside my shapes and things like that. But then when I'm ready to do the background parts, I'm going to use the edge of a crayon and very lightly push, because that's going to get me a nice amount of light coverage in the background areas. So you're going to keep going until you have all your details colored. As you can see in this one, this is an in-process one that I'm in the middle of making. Um, once it's all colored in, if you have a hole puncher at home and some yarn, you can hole punch it, add some yarn, hang it on your wall. Um, you can add some yarn even coming down off of it, just like in the Chinese mirrors. Um, but that's going to be it for this project.